Oh hey guys, thanks for tuning into Nev's Garage. Now if this is your first time joining us here, make sure you hit that subscribe button and also toggle on the little bell. That way you'll be notified when our next great video drops. That's future issues though. Still got to get through this episode. Today, gonna to be talking about roller blinds. Wanna fit some to my windows here, but we do have a bit of a problem. Blinds are too big, right? Now sometimes you can't just rock up to your hardware store down the road and buy a blind to fit your bespoke windows. Right, they usually come in standard sizes varying about a foot. Sometimes your windows fall in between those sizes. And what am I gonna do? Can't shoot it with a shrink ray, can I? Gonna have to modify it. Right, now if you have a look over this way, here's one I prepared earlier. And you'll notice it does fit in my window aperture. Right, it is fully operational. Came from the same size stock blind, just been modified to fit. It's pretty easy, gonna show you how to do it. Let's get into it. All right, so first of all, we need to measure our aperture where our blind's gonna sit. All right, so our opening is 970. Now we're gonna to wanna to take 40 mils off that for our material or our fabric of our blind, or an inch and a half if you're from the land of Diet Coke. So we're gonna be chopping it at 930. So let's get into that now. All right, so what we want now is a nice clean place that we can roll out the blind, all right? So get one of Wifey's nice soft blankets. And then we unroll our blind. Like so. Once we've got it unrolled, we can slip the spool off. Okay, that's him, put him to one side. That's the top. Now we'll take the bottom off. What you doing, Leo? You come to help Daddy? Oh, there's the bottom off. Put him to one side as well. Alright, so once you've got your kitty cat here to help, now we mark the width of the material, okay? So make sure your tape measure is nice and clean and it's not going to mark the fabric. And we measure our width of our window minus 40 mil, which in this case is 930. All right, so now that we've got the line where we've got to cut it marked, what we do now is use this piece of nice clean MDF as our backing to cut it on. We get a nice sharp rolling knife like this one.
and a straight edge and we use our guide to trim it. So there we go, here's our new blind, cut to width, now we just got to take care of the spool and the bottom trim, okay? Now the spool, we want to cut 10 mils wider than the material, right? So we're going to be cutting this at 940. bottom trim we're going to be cutting just a little bit wider about an eighth of an inch wider than our material right, so we're going to be cutting it at 933 mm -hmm. so let's go and buzz them off now All right, so here's our extrusions being trimmed. Just use an angle grinder. Don't forget to deburr. If you don't deburr, you're gonna have a bad time. What we do now is just slide these back into place on the appropriate end. Mark the bottom, the bottom before, so I know which end is the bottom. <laughs> bottom. End cap, other end cap. Cool. Top, same thing, slide him onto the extrusion. Like that, and that's it. Now we can just roll it back up. Okay, Nash is back on the spool. Now we can just mount it into the window, just like a normal blind that we bought that way. Let's do it. Well, check it out, guys. It's all finished. It's in the window. Looks pretty tight. 
Obviously got to fill in the holes where our old curtains used to be. That's a job for future Nev, don't worry about that now. Let's try her out. Ah, oh, look at that. Like a bought one. What are we going to do with our leftover material though? Probably do anything with it really. Make a curtain for your dollhouse. Fashion it into a nice little sash. Like that. Pretty cool. Anyway, that's about it for this episode. As always, thank you for sharing and liking our videos. Please consider subscribing to us here on our YouTube channel and also hit us up on our socials. Like and follow us there at Gossam Media. That's it for this episode though. Guess we'll see you next time on Nev's Garage.